Section 1.5, Using Formulas in Geometry. By the end of this lesson, you should be able to use formulas to find the perimeter and area of a rectangle, square, and triangle, and to find the circumference and area of a circle. So perimeter and area formulas for rectangle, square, and triangle. So if I want to find the perimeter, remember a perimeter is just all of the outside edges added together. So in a rectangle, you have two sides that are the same measure of L in this case, and two sides that are the same measure of W. So if we add all these up, we have W plus L plus W plus L, or we can write it as two W's plus two L's. And then if I want to find the area, remember area of a rectangle is just length times width, multiplying it together. And then a square is a little simpler. A square is different because it has all sides that are exactly the same. So we have s plus s plus s plus s, or four times whatever the side is. And then for an area, it's basically the same thing as a rectangle. It's the length times the width. But in this case, the length and the width are exactly the same. So it's really just the side squared. And then finally, a triangle. Remember, all perimeter is is adding up all the sides. So in this triangle, we have a side of A, a side of B, and a side of C. A, B, C, there's our perimeter. Now, area is a little different because area is 1 half the base length times the height. So in this case, our base is this bottom right here, and our height is how tall it is. Now sometimes the height's confusing, so let's talk about that. In a triangle, the base can be any side. It doesn't matter what side. The height is the segment from a vertex that forms a right angle with a line containing the base. The height may be a side of a triangle on the interior or the exterior. So if I make this my base right here, I need to find a 90 degree angle that goes to the top of my triangle. And in this case, it happens to be an edge of my triangle. If we look at this triangle right here though, if I make this my base, remember it has to make a 90 degree angle. So it could be anywhere here, but it has to touch the very top. So the highest point right here and make a 90 degree angle, it would be somewhere in the middle of this triangle. Where this one here, if I make this my base, it needs to touch the top of this, but it also has to have a right angle. So that's why we have this on the outside. So let's do some problems. Find the perimeter and area of each figure. So this first one, if I wanna find the perimeter of this rectangle, Remember, these slashies mean that this is also six inches and this is also four inches. So all we gotta do is add these up. Four plus six plus four plus six should give us 20. And then if we find, wanna find the area, remember all we gotta do is length times width, so four times six, which is 24. And remember with area, your inches are squared or whatever units you have, and with perimeter, they're just the regular units. And now our triangle. Remember, a perimeter, you just add all the sides. So my first side is x plus 4, and then I have 5x, and then I have 6. So let's simplify this. I have 1 plus 5 more, so I have 6x's and then four plus six, so I have 10. Doesn't ask us to find x, it just tells us to find the perimeter. So it's six x plus 10. And then the area, remember the formula is one half, whatever your base is, times the height. So we have one half, my base is six, right here, and then my height, this is the tallest point, and it can make a 90 degree angle right here, so it's x plus four. Now remember PEMDAS, this is all multiplication 
until we get inside these parentheses right here. Since I can't simplify that, we just got to go left to right. So we do 1 half times 6, which will give us 3. And then we have times x plus 4. And now remember, we would have to distribute this. So we end up with 3x plus 12. And that is our area. So I can use formulas to find the perimeter and area of a rectangle, square, and triangle. Circumference and area of a circle. The circumference of a circle, remember, is just like the perimeter. And that has a formula, kind of two formulas, depending on what information you have. The circumference is pi, which is just a constant, constant, 3.14, times either the diameter or 2 times the radius. So remember, if you have a circle, your circumference is this green part all the way around. Your radius starts in the center and shoots out to one of the sides. And the diameter cuts directly through the center and hits both edges. And then the area is pi r squared. So you take pi, that 3.14, and multiply it by the radius squared. So let's do a problem. Find the circumference and area of a circle with a radius of 8 centimeters. Use the pi key on your calculator, and then round the answer to the nearest tenth. So when it says to use the pi key on your calculator, your calculator knows a ton of digits of pi. It doesn't use 3.14. It uses 3.14159926, blah, 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 for a while. So that's why we're going to have to round it to the nearest tenth. So if we have a circle, it has a radius of 8, and we need to find the perimeter which is the circumference, and the area. So circumference equals, we can use 2 pi r or pi d. And in this case, because they give us the radius, let's use 2 pi r. So we're going to take 2 times the pi button in our calculator times the radius, which is 8. So really what we're typing into our calculator is 16 pi. And when you do that, you get 50.2654, blah, 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 blah. But because this says to round it to the nearest tenth, that means only one number after the decimal. So we get 50.3 centimeters. And now we got to find the area. And remember the formula for area is pi r squared. So again, we're going to use the pi button on our calculator. And we're going to multiply it by 8 squared. So really what we're typing in our calculator is 64 times pi. And you get 201, and if we're rounding again, 0 0.1 centimeters squared. I can find the circumference and area of a circle. So hopefully you can find the perimeter and area of a rectangle, square, and triangle, and find the circumference of a circle as well as the area.